Hello all, welcome to this video. Today we will be seeing some problems in mathematics of machine learning which is based on the topics that have been discussed in the previous weeks. Let us start. The first question is, we have to check whether the given set of vectors are linearly independent or not and give a reason for the same. So we are given x1, x2 and x3. So in order to find whether they are linearly independent or not, first we will arrange them into a matrix which is got by combining all the three vectors and we will name it as A. Then we will find the determinant of A. So based on that value we can say whether it is linearly independent or not. So for finding determinant we will take 2 into 8 minus 6 minus 1 into minus 8 plus 9 plus 3 into 2 minus 3 which will be 4 minus 1 minus 3 which is 0. Since the determinant value is 0 we conclude that the following vectors are not linearly independent. Now the second question is, we are asked to find the angle between the vectors x and y. We already know the formula which is omega is equal to cos inverse of inner product of x, y by norm of x into norm of y. So inner product of x, y is given by x transpose y. So we take the transpose of this vector multiplied by this vector divided by taking the norms. So the norm of this vector is root of 1 square plus 1 square and that of this is root of 2 square plus 1 square. So on solving this we get cos inverse of 3 by root 10. So the angle will be 18.4 degree or 0.3216 radian. The third question is to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the given matrix here in terms of k. So for this first we need to find the characteristic polynomial which is got by taking the determinant of a minus lambda i. So the determinant of the matrix a minus lambda i. i is the identity matrix on multiplying it with lambda we will get this matrix we will subtract these two, so we will get this, then we take the determinant and we rearrange them into a form like this. In order to find the roots of this quadratic polynomial, we will apply the formula which we already know, which is minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. That will be 2 plus or minus root of 4 minus 4 into 1 minus 2k by 2. So we will get the value as 1 plus or minus root of 2k. So we will have two eigenvalues. We will take lambda 1 as 1 plus root 2k and lambda 2 as 1 minus root 2k. Then we will take the first eigenvalue and find out the corresponding eigenvector. So when lambda 1 is 1 plus root 2k, we will substitute this value of lambda in this expression. We will get something like this. Then we will take out this matrix and perform row transformation to convert it into row echelon form. For this first uh, we multiply the first row by minus 1 by root 2k. We will get it in this form. Then we will subtract the second row from twice the first row. We will get this. So this is the simplified form. So we can see that when we take the combination x1 minus root 2k by 2x2 we will get 0. So from this we will take the span as 1 which is the coefficient of x1 and minus root 2k by 2 which is the coefficient of x2. So 
this will be the eigen vector then we'll take the case where lambda is 1 minus root 2 k we'll substitute this value in this expression and on simplifying we'll get this form now we take out this matrix and perform row transformations on that we'll begin by multiplying the first row by 1 by root 2k then we will subtract the second row from twice the first row then we will get the simplified matrix so we can write it as x1 plus root 2k by 2 x2 will give us 0 so we will take out the coefficients of both which will give us the span that is the linear combination of the vectors here is 1 root to k by 2. The fourth question is to find out the L1 and L2 norm of the given vector. Now L1 norm is the Manhattan norm and L2 norm is the Euclidean norm. To find Manhattan norm, we will take the summation of absolute value of all the elements in the vector. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which will give us 10. In order to find the Euclidean norm, we will take the root of summation of square of each elements in the vector. So that is root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square, which is root 30. The value will be 5.4772. Now we will move on to the last question. Here we are asked to consider a subspace U which is obtained by spanning the columns of this matrix A here. We need to determine the dimensions of the subspace U. So for this, we will simplify this matrix, convert it into row echelon form using row transformations. For that, first we will subtract the second row from the first row. So we will get 0 here. Then we subtract the third row from 2 times the first row. So we'll give this. Then we go for subtracting the fourth row from the first row. So we'll get this form. Then we add the third row to 1 by 2 of the second row. So this will be 0. Then we'll divide the second row by minus 1 by 2. This will be the final matrix in its row echelon form. We can see that there are only two pivot columns. So when we go for a staircase structure, it is only obtained till the first two columns. Third column does not obey it. So these two will be the pivot columns. Since the number of pivot columns is two, the dimension will be two. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.